Hi, I'm Steve Bowen on board the International Space Station, and I'm here with Paxi. We're going to talk about closed loop systems today. Why are we talking about closed loop systems? Well, the International Space Station tries to be essentially a closed loop system, just like Earth. When you think about Earth, everything we need to survive and sustain life and to continue uh, with our civilization is contained on Earth. You know, Earth receives all its energy from the sun. So the Earth uh, has an atmosphere. In that atmosphere is nitrogen and oxygen, uh, mostly anyway. Uh, there are other gases in there and we generate a waste gas, usually carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide, we clean out of the atmosphere here on the International Space Station. On Earth, plants and the ocean, they absorb carbon dioxide and they turn it back into oxygen and they use that carbon elsewhere. But here on the International Space Station, we recycle as well. We try and reuse as much as we can. So we have to clean out the carbon dioxide and the life support rack that uh, ESA has put together. Thank you, Paxi. Uh, helps us do that. It cleans out the carbon dioxide and we generate oxygen as well. We also split water into hydrogen and oxygen and that gets us oxygen as well. So as we burn and use up all the oxygen, it's replenished as much as we can. Water is another vital resource that we have on Earth that almost all life depends on for its existence. And we, on board the International Space Station, we recycle about 90% of our water. We've been doing that for about 15 years. Water is very heavy and it'd be a big, big resource to try and replenish that all the time uh, with rockets providing cargo to space. But what we do is we recycle almost all the sweat, condensate, urine, everything that uh, creates humidity or has moisture, we reuse that over and over and over again. And it's, it's pretty amazing. On Earth, uh, all the water gets cleaned out. Uh, we have systems, we have sewage systems, we have ways of cleaning the water on Earth. In space, uh, we do the same thing, except we use a much smaller system and it's, it's absolutely amazing. It provides very clean drinking water. One of the things that we cannot recycle, we currently don't have a way of making our own food. On Earth, obviously, we can grow our plants, we can, we can recreate, we can create all the food that we need uh, to sustain life. Up here in the International Space Station, we don't do that yet. But at some point in the future, we probably will be able to grow plants and allow ourselves to, to live in a totally closed loop system on board uh, a space station in Earth orbit, which will be totally amazing. You know, the Earth, uh, it is a very precious resource that we need to continue to, to maintain so it will continue to provide us the opportunity to live and, and survive and work with Paxi here on board the International Space Station as well as on Earth. Well, I hope we learned a little bit about closed loop systems today. And Paxi, it was great talking to you again. And everybody should have a good day. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.